Hi everyone, Wonia Thibault here with more tips for staying strong and healthy and vital against the coronavirus as you possibly can. So I wanted to share about a group of underlooked organisms that could really help your system a lot in times of coronavirus, and that is mushrooms. One of the things that's really unique about mushrooms is that a lot of them are in a class of herbs or organisms, since they're not technically plants, that we call adaptogens. Now, adaptogens are specifically substances that help our bodies respond to stress and help us be more adaptive to new and challenging situations we might face, which, I mean, that's amazing, right? And obviously, the times we're living in right now and the coronavirus, what a time for adaptogens. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about some different kinds and some different blends and some of the ways that it's gonna be really easy for you to put them in your already, you know, your normal routines so that you don't have to really change your lifestyle to incorporate these. Um, so obviously different ways that you can come about such substances. The first and by far the best way is to harvest them yourselves. So this is, a jar of ground chaga, which looks like this. It's just a beautiful brown powder. And there are all kinds of birds overhead right now. It's an exciting time of day to be out. Um, so chaga is a mushroom, technically more like a shelf fungus. It's a really unusual type of fungus that grows out of birch trees. And to me, the beauty of chaga is that it's not just the medicine of the mushrooms, it was a robin flying off behind me. It's not just the medicine of the mushroom, but because chaga specifically grows out of birch trees, I feel like it's a way to harvest the energy and the medicine of the birch tree as well as the medicine of the fungus, which is awesome. Um, chaga has been scientifically shown to have tumor fighting properties as well as immune boosting properties. It's a really strong antioxidant. There are so many things that it does for your body. So chaga is an awesome one to have on hand. Here is another form in which you can get mushrooms and this is just a ground powder. And this is a formulation of a bunch of different mushrooms. So this contains, I believe, yeah, it has chaga. It has a mushroom called turkey tail, which grows out of rotten wood, very common on the west coast and they're a really beautiful mushroom thus the name turkey tails now this isn't an identification video you need to do your own research to know that you're actually identifying these correctly okay you guys so i am going back and editing the video that i did about mushrooms as health allies last week and i couldn't <laughs> i couldn't finish the video without coming into the yard to show you because about Four days after I was filming the video about mushrooms and all they do for us, I was helping my mom in her yard, and what did we find growing on a pile of old logs she had? Check it out! Right along here, growing on the underside of this beautiful piece of old cherry wood, a tree that I cut down in my mom's yard years ago, we have all of these little turkey tails sprouting out. They were like 15 feet from where I was talking about turkey tails and how amazing they are. So the beauty of harvesting mushrooms is that the fruiting bodies, the parts that we see, are not the main part of the mushroom. It's like harvesting apples from a tree and that these are the spore producing parts. So I can harvest these without harming the main body of the mushroom itself. However, I don't want to harvest all of the fruiting bodies because then the mushroom won't be able to reproduce and I really want it to reproduce and spread. Gorgeous, right? Beautiful medicinal mushrooms. I wasn't even looking for them and there they were. So I'm going to chop these fine and put them in 120 proof vodka to extract and make into a tincture. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. Then reishi, reishi again, just absolutely awesome medicine, very strongly adaptogenic. A lot of people take reishi regularly, again, just to help their body with anything out of the ordinary that it might encounter or any stressors on the system, reishi is 
awesome. Um, and then also shiitake and maitake, which again have been used in Chinese cooking and Chinese medicine for thousands of years because of the general tonifying and overall system strengthening effects that they have. Um, you know, included in cuisine is an awesome way to get your mushrooms, but if you don't have access to harvesting them wild and you want to get the benefits of a lot of the different properties that mushrooms have, ordering a blend is a good way to do it. This one is specifically called Five Defenders for immune strength. It's from a company called Real Mushrooms. So Cordyceps is another mushroom that is a wonderful, wonderful immune booster and great for all kinds of things in your system. Um, here's another blend that's just turkey tail, um, again, for its immune pro properties and reishi. So all of these are great ways to go. And one of the things that gives mushrooms their great immune enhancing properties is they're full of something called beta glucans. Now these are specifically part of the cell wall of mushrooms and they're super nourishing to our immune systems. Absolutely great to have these in your daily routine. These are very tonifying and nourishing herbs that are just gonna be helping our systems do what they do better, as opposed to some herbs that have such a strong effect that you don't wanna take them too often because they can be hard on your body. These are not, these are great to include in every way you can. Another way to get them into your world is something like this. Now this is another blend of a group of different mushrooms. Um, this has shiitake, maitake, reishi, chaga, cordyceps, and lion's mane. And this one is called Mycoforce from Health Force Superfoods. Now this one is different because this is actually a water extraction. So this is a powder that's going to completely dissolve in tea or coffee, soups, smoothies, yogurt, anything like that. Super, super concentrated. So then let's talk about how to incorporate these into your routine. Super, super easy to add them to something you're already taking. So coffee, super strong flavor, and these are gonna disappear into your coffee. So you could just add a little scoop. You can you know, choose an individual one. You can do a blend, either a purchased blend or blend your own like I'm planning to do with all of these different ones. Some systems can take caffeine and some systems are stressed by caffeine. So if that's the way you're gonna take your mushrooms, great, better to take it that way than not. But if you can wean yourself off of coffee and other things that stress your system at this already stressful time, that's gonna do better for your system overall. So may I suggest something like a chicory root powder or one of the commercial blends like Dandy Blend is a favorite of mine. Pero is another commercial one. Um, Roast Aroma is a tea by Celestial Seasonings that's chicory based and barley. Um, so lots of good ones out there. And then you can add all of your mushroom powders to that. So there are all kinds of herbs that we can take in in really delicious and nourishing ways that are gonna just help our system so much both before we encounter Corona. So should we encounter it, we are in the best shape we can be in or to support us if we happen to contact it to keep our immune systems functioning at top level. Please check out my website where I have more resources. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell to get notifications when my videos come up. Um, there's a whole coronavirus support page on my website. Please consider supporting me on Patreon because all of my classes have been canceled now, so it's the main way I'm getting funding right now. So many ways to plug in and learn more and make ourselves as healthy, well, and vibrant as we can possibly be. Thanks everyone and good luck.